And now he goes into the third turn. There's plenty of traffic there. The number Bobby 32 Bryant car was running so good. He through the traffic. Yeah. And he looks tough as we've completed 26 laps. Brickett takes a scenic route between turns one and two. He maintains his advantage approaching some of the lap cars, car number 15. And he breezes by that car as he stampedes down the front stretch. He still has a lead. He goes inside the zero, and he appears to be driving very efficiently. Brian Brickett in car number 36. Here he comes into the fourth turn. And a car darted in front of him, car number three, but no problems that time for Brian Brickett. He's 12 laps away from a victory. Let's see if he can hang on and avoid the disasters that seem to be lurking on almost every lap. Keep an eye also on several other cars that are, have picked up the pace quite a bit. Yep. For instance, the 71 going into turn three right now, the 30D, the little station wagon into turn three. They've both been running very well. The 56 is hanging right in there. Yes, definitely the 56 picking up the pace. The 36 has slowed somewhat. Well, we'll keep an eye and see if he may be having a problem. Now the 56 takes over second place over the 30D. The 96 is getting all out of shape. He's having his problems over in turn three. Eight laps to go. Car 36 in the lead, then it's the 56, then the 30D, then the 96. 30D having a bit of a problem in turn two. There's your leader, cross seven laps now to go. He has slowed, however, and here comes the 56. He is running faster, but does he have enough time? Who are these guys? He got a little skitterish into the second turn, but he continues his pursuit of the 36 and Brian Brickett. There is Brickett just crossing the finish line. He has six laps to go. But a good charge by the 56. The number 56 is Ron Plourd. The number 30D is Jason Morrison. And the number 96 that we've been mentioning quite often, that is John Hancock III. I wonder if that's his real name. John <laughs> Hancock III. Get you to thinking. Yes. Well, the 30D and 96 safely by, and they're still running pretty much uh, nose to tail. Meanwhile, the number 36 keeps slowing. Here he comes. He's heading for the line. And he now has four laps to go. Here comes the 56, though. Watch out. Boy, that 36's lead is dwindling. We might have a contest here yet. Keep an eye on that 56 car. Ron Poor gaining on our leader. Off the turn comes the 36 as he seems to get slower and slower. Three laps to go, but here comes Ford in the 56. Jason Morrison retiring his number 30D station wagon after a very strong run. Now, there are your one and two cars going into turn three, nose to tail. This is going to turn out to be some battle here. Off the fourth turn they come, and Lord. who will it be? We have a new leader. The 56 of Ron Ford is now in front. How about that one? The 65 moving in for third place, trying to overtake the 96. Meanwhile, here comes your leader off the turn. And he gets the white flag. One lap to go for Ron Plourd. He and slides. The hold on for second is going to be the question. Down the back stretch goes our leader. Oh, the 65 car is in the wall, so is the 96. And here he comes, your leader. And there he is, car number 56, Ron Plourd, taking the victory. Ron Plourd.
board. Ninety six crashed over in turns one and two. All right, there you have it. Ron Plord taking our four cylinder enduro. There he is at the start finish line, screeching to a halt. He'll swing around now. Well, there he is when he gets out of this car, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves a big hand. Perseverance does pay, right, Matt? Well, he looked like he was out of the race at the halfway mark, but what a comeback. Let's hear it. Rod Plour, the winner of our four-cylinder Enduro. Let him know it. We had a birthday boy participating in that four-cylinder Enduro, and it was Roger Larson, driver of the number 35 car. And so we'd like to extend uh, happy birthday wishes to Roger. Remember now, after our full-size Enduro, we have our Demolition Derby yet to come. 50 laps will be the distance for the full-size Enduros. 50 laps. Hang on to your hats for this. But see, you see the team cars, they did very, very well. First, second, and third. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, Hendrix Motorsports Junior operation. <laughs> oh, brother. Three drivers, Raleigh, but the only problem is it's only one trophy. <laughs> so I don't know how, maybe they have a hacksaw in the, in the pit area and they'll be able to divide things up. Well, you can be sure they'll be splitting the pizza in the Italian garden later on, that's for sure. <laughs> there they are, the teammates, a happy group. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice, nicely done. Well, now we